Hey guys and welcome back to another Tackle West video. I hope you've been out fishing lately. We've had some really good weather and uh, we've had some very fishable weather and there's been some, some guys coming in that have been catching a lot of fish. I recently just went up north for the past couple of weeks and um, if you've watched any of the other videos we did really well so anyway. I want to give you a bit of a look at some of the new products that have come in over the past couple of weeks. We've, we've had a fair amount of shipments of, of new gear come in and um, I think I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown, so stay tuned. So if you've been watching any of these What's New videos, um, you'd be probably aware that we've been getting a fair amount of brim lures in and I'm really trying to increase the range. I'm trying to, trying to really have a very good quality core range of brim products to choose from. So. Um, this week, first of all, we're going to take a look at some of the new new brim lures that we've got in. And I want to give you a bit of a rundown on them because they look bloody good. Um, they've been in store for about, oh, maybe by the time this video is up, for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, they've already been really popular, so let's dive straight in and have a look at them. So the first range of product that I want to show you this week is from ProLure. ProLure is an Aussie brand that brings in very affordable light tackle essentially brim lures. The majority of the lures that they do, they're brim lures or they're light tackle lures. None of the lures that I'm about to show you are over $20. Everything is sub $20, um, ranging from $10 to $20. So they're very affordable lures. They got some really good models in there and they got some really good colors. They're pretty popular over east from, from everything that I can tell. We've put them in. Um, they've been, been in for about two weeks and they've been, been pretty popular. So I want to give you a look at them. Now we're going to start off looking at the 36 crank. So you can see that there. Now these are a chubby style lure, available in a whoop, available in a deep and a shallow runner. They've been very popular over east. They've been winning actually a few tournaments in the brim scene. The best thing about these things is just how well they cast. They cast like an absolute bullet. So you can get a maximum casting distance with these. They're good for fishing the flats, whether you're gonna be fishing a, a sandy drop off with the deep diver, or you're just fishing up on top of the flats with the shallow runner. You can see it's nice and shallow, but that's the big bonus with thing, these, these lures. They cast an absolute mile. So if you're looking for distance casting, then these are really good. A little tip when using these though, is make sure you fish them with, with very light line. So whether you're fishing with um, straight through fluorocarbon or whether you're fishing with braid, make sure you fish a very, a very light line and they'll actually dive a little bit deeper and they'll run a little bit tighter. These little 36 cranks are available in a, a really good range of colors. We've got the whole color range in and I'm actually gonna put a little screenshot up of all the colors in this video just so you can see, but they, they have an epic range of colors. They've, they've really nailed some of them. They've got some real cool looking prawn ones. Um, there's the matte tournament, well the tournament winning matte black. Um, you know, you've got like these Ebby or AU colors. Um, but a big bonus with all of these pro lures is they're all fitted with quality trebles. So generally some of the cheaper lures, you normally always have to upgrade the hooks on them, but not with Pro Lure. They come standard with decoy hooks on them. So these are the decoy YS25 hooks. Now, if you're a brim angler, you know just how sticky these hooks are. I'd say they're probably the best treble on the market for brim fishing. So for an, a cheaper lure, all of them come standard. You don't have to go and upgrade the hooks out of the box. They're ready to go. So that's one advantage with fishing with a, a pro lure. Now moving on to the next lure that they do is these little stick baits, the SK62 pencils. Now these are available in a sinking version and I gotta say these look absolutely epic. I'm just gonna rip one out of the packet here. They're 4.3 grams so they are going to cast a bloody mile. Can you see that there? Look at that. Nice finish on it. Again, it's got the good quality decoy trebles. These are going to be really good for brim fishing or for tailor fishing in the river when the tailor starts smashing all the bait. Um, these, again, another lure that casts really well. Um, really easy to work. You can cast them out because they're quite a slow sinker. All you got to do is just slightly twitch your rod and against some snags, what brim or what tailor is not going to want to eat that? So 62, 62 mil long. Again, a whole range of different colors to choose from. This one's not a bad one either. See that one? I'm gonna put 
pretty much for every one of these products that I show you. I'm going to put the color chart in there so you can see them as well because there's just too many to unpack and give you a look at them all. But it's another little sinking stick bait, so I think that fits into the market quite well. On to the next. Now the next one we're going to look at is their new ST76 Minnow. Now these are available in a shallow and a deep diving minnow. These are going to be more suited for your tailor fishing, giant herring fishing in the river. Um, some of your rivers when you go down south, generally you want a bigger lure, a bit more presence. That's where these are going to be really good. Um, you'll still catch brim on these in, in the river, um, in the swan and the canning, but Generally, I prefer to fish with a smaller lure when I do, but these will also be great for flathead. So there's going to be going to be quite a range of species that you can target on these. You can even take take these up north and fish them off the beach, like in Exmouth and stuff, for like little trevally and, and small yellowfin brim and stuff like that. So again, they're not a bad one. They're a suspending lure, so you can twitch them, let them sink. The deep diver will dive between 1.8 to 2.2 meters and the shallow diver is 0.2 to 0.8, depending on how you hold your rod tip. Next one from the Pro Lure, and there's, there's quite a few here, so bear with me, but we've got the little blade. So we've got the V35 and the V42 blade. Now, blade fishing is really good in winter, so this is now when we're coming into, into fishing with blades. They work really well when you fish them on the flats, you can cast a really long distance, you can work the drop off. Um, I remember using the Eco Gear uh, VX vibes when they first come out um, around all the Mount Henry area up, up the canning and I used to do really well on them. So winter is the time to fish with blades but these are a really good little blade that will cast very well as most blades do. Um, they're available in 4 grams and 6.5 grams so if you want to try something new give them a shot. They're only pretty cheap. Again all decoy hooks ready to fish. Now moving on to the soft plastics, I couldn't not put these in just because they look really good and I will admit there's nothing super exciting about them but it's just a stock standard brim lure that everybody has in their box and there's plenty of variations but hey well I wanted to put them in. So we've got the Pro Lure Grub. Now this is a 60 mil soft plastic grub. This is the motor oil. I chose to show you this one because motor oil is always the most popular but they aren't made of super stretchy material, they are just a general soft plastic, but they're very free. These are going to be good for the guys that are fishing down south where we don't have a problem with the blowies. See how free that tail is. So this is going to have a really good action on the drop or on the fall. But they're available in a range of colours. Um, again, like I said, nothing super exciting about them, but um, I figured we may as well have a couple of options for the guys that want to try different, different grubs out. But Pro Lure Grub, these are available as well. Now the next lure that I'm going to show you is the one that I'm most excited about. This is one that I saw on the catalogue and I said to Matt, you have to order them. Make sure, if you're doing this order, make sure you order these because I want to check them out and they look epic. And it's the Clone Prawn. Now, this is just a soft plastic prawn imitation, but they've nailed it. They've done, they've really done a good job on this. Um, I'm actually super pumped about getting these in store and when I saw these arrive, it made me want to go brim fishing. So look at the action. I don't know if you can see, but look at the action and how soft these are. Sure, the blowies will ruin them, but if you're down south or you're fishing way up river where the blowies aren't too bad, but look at that. Look at the action in the legs, look at the action in the tail, look at the action in the feelers. This is a killer little soft plastic. They're available in 62 millimeter. They do make a bigger one, um, which we haven't had them in yet. They, I think they're not available, but we will be getting them. As soon as they're available, we will be getting them. But this thing is, is killer. Um, it's been really popular. Well, we, we didn't get a mass amount of stock of these, but the they've also, we haven't got many left. So um, as we're doing this, I'm doing this little video now, I'm actually ordering more just so by the time this video comes out, you'll be able to check them out. But look at that, the clone prawn. Now, again, they've got some really good colors in these. Give them a shot. I, will, I wanna know if you catch fish on them. Let me know. Um, I think you would rig this with a weedless jig head. I think will be, be perfect or maybe one of those hidden weight jig heads. Look at that. How good does that look? Now, if you want to try something different, give these a shot. 
I mean, they look absolutely epic. I, I, it's the best prawn imitation that I've seen so far. I think they're going to work really well. I know if the blowies are bad, you're probably not going to want to use them, but if you're way up river, give them a shot. Or if you're fishing down south where there's no blowies, I think this lure is going to kill it. Or even more river. More river would be a really good one for these. That's the Pro Lure Clone Prawn. Now before we get off all the brim stuff, we've just had a little expansion on one of our other brands that we sell, and that's from Razor Edge Lures. Now, Razor Edge Lures is another local guy that just designs some, some brim gear. Um, it's got some good range of product. So we've expanded in the jig heads. Now we're doing the tournament heads. We normally run all the weedless heads, which are a really good quality weedless head with painted, painted heads. And we're also doing more brawler baits. So, now we're doing the Swimsons. We've got a range of colors. These are that elastic material, so it's just, you know, it's kind of like a stretchy plastic, but it's also in the paddle tail. So just another range of brim soft plastics as our brim gear is you know, expanding. It's just more different product for you guys to try out. So let's go and check out some of the other new gear. Now moving on from all the brim gear, we're gonna look at the offshore stuff. And we've just increased our range with Nomad and gone into their jigs. So you can see here, we've got a substantial amount of jigs. And if you check out our Osman Park store, we've got the full range of jigs from Nomad. The only reason we couldn't put the full range in at Beckenham is because, well, I've got no more bloody space left. So if you can see all that, <laughs> it's jam packed. So this is all we could fit in. But I'm gonna run you through some of the models. They're really good quality jigs that are, they're all, again, they're under, they're all under $20 for all of the jigs and they come rigged with BKK assist hooks and split rings. So they got really good quality hooks and, and terminal on them. There's a good range of colors. They actually have quite a substantial range of good colors and there's a couple of different styles. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a look at them. Excuse the mess. It's a little bit um, all over the place at the moment. We're just trying to rearrange Beckingham a little bit more. We've just run out of so much space here. Like there's, we've, put so much product into this store that it's kind of jam-packed at the moment. So we're currently in the process of actually expanding on to the end of this Beckingham store just so we can fit more product in here for you guys and just have a better range again than what's already in here. I mean, it's absolutely packed full of lures. I mean, I remember when we started and opened this store and I was thinking like, how the hell am I gonna fill this shop? And you know, to look at it now, a couple years later, it's, it's jam-packed. Well, I mean, we're out of room. We've, literally outgrowing this shop so um thanks for all the support guys but anyway we're gonna um take a look at these nomad jigs and i'm gonna start off with the ridge back now the ridge back it's got a unique shape and these are the the same as the ridge back casting minnows but they're well casting slugs i guess is what you call it um and these are available in heavier weights so we have 80 grams I think there's 120, 160, and 200 grams. Now, these are really good for faster jigging. Um, you know, you can jig these, I mean, you can jig these fast or you can jig them slow. You can do it with any jig, really. But these are gonna be really good for faster jigging. These are gonna be good up north, like especially if you're trying to target, you know, mackerel or um, anything that's kind of wants a bit more of an aggressive action. Sambos down here, amberjack, that kind of stuff. But you've got the ridge back. Um, that's another another jig that's worth checking out again really good range of colors really good range of sizes so moving on from the ridge back we're going to look at their other two traditional style jigs their slow pitch jigs now we're going to look at the gypsy which is a wider wider jig much more wider profile so it's going to have a lot of flutter on the drop you can see that there work this very slow i mean you can work like i said before with any of the jigs regardless of the shape and that you can work them fast you can work them slow um you know try experiment with a couple of different actions see what works for you but you would generally work this type of jig slower um again available in a good range of sizes range good range of colors they start at about i think it's 20 grams and go all the way up to it's over 200 grams so that's a good slow pitch jig worth checking out the other one which has even a little bit more action because of the concave back is the Buffalo. Now, this has a good fluttering action on the drop. Now, if you can see, it's actually kind of got a bit of a ridge on, on the back of the jig. One side is flat. So 
with these types of jigs, I like to use a really long lift and, and an actual, when you're at the top of your, your jig, it's almost like a flick and generally you get a really good action on these types of jigs, you get a really good flutter. Again, these are available in a range of good colors. Um, there's a whole heap of sizes there for you. If you've been watching, I watch that Pelagic Pursuit a lot and he uses a lot of the Gypsy and a lot of the Buffalo, I notice, and they're using them over in Queensland, they're catching a lot of good fish on them. But there's plenty of guys here using them, catching a lot of good Jewies, a lot of good Snapper, and any of those species up north are gonna absolutely nail them. Check out the Nomad range of jigs. Come in and check out all the range of Nomad jigs. We've got a whole heap of them for you to choose from, so check them out. They're all affordable. You can see them on our website, you can see them in store, but that's the Nomad jigs, guys. Now, moving on from the jigs, just in general, this Beckingham store is absolutely packed at the moment. We've had a lot of just general restocks, whether it's from Daiwa, whether it's from bloody Yamashita squid jigs, whether it's from Vex. We've, we've always got stock coming in here. So there's a good restock of just general product. I try to always keep it up, up to date with the latest stuff. We've just had another range of Zanak gear just arrive, just a, another re-top up. So I think I'll wrap this up here and I'm gonna go jump to Osmond Park and give you a bit more of a look at what they've had come in. Welcome back to the Osmond Park store. So I'm gonna start off at looking at the Miho tackle trays. We've got a whole heap of different ones if you can see in the background there to choose from. But I'm gonna to talk to you quickly about the reversible trays. So let me get set up and I'll give you a look at them. So we have an absolute stack of tackle trays to choose from. You can see there's a whole heap of them, but the ones I want to talk to you today, talk to you about today, are the reversible trays. Now, I've already done a video on these before, but I've been organizing some of my broom lures over the past week, and they're just so bloody handy that I wanted to kind of bring them up again and show you guys, if you haven't seen them already, um, it, they're really good, they're cheap. They're not expensive and they organize your lures really well. But what it is, is a partitioned lure tray. So it's double sided. And the best thing is you can kind of organize your lures to have a you know, particular style, whether you want shallow diving lures on one side, whether you want deep diving lures on the other. But I like how they just keep all your lures organized. So, you see, you can fit a fair amount in them. I, obviously, with a different size tray, um, you can fit you know, more lures or less lures in them depending on what, what size tray you have but these brim ones are really good. You can use one little slide for two lures or three lures but they're really handy. They've got a clear lid, you can see what's on them, what's in them. But if you have a handful of these, they're really, really good for organizing your lures. I've gone away from using a bigger tray like this with my brim lures to just running with small trays like this and you know you don't have to take your whole amount of lures out every single time you go fishing you can go hey what's in here is going to do me for one trip um, and then you can just take that little little box out so the lure trays they're really good they're really handy so they're available in a whole heap of different sizes like you would have seen before but these are the ones for, for the bigger lures but we've got a whole stack of them give them a shot they're only cheap Good for organizing your lures. So while we're on the storage and the tackle trays and all the other storage, um, I want to give you a quick look at the Assassin backpacks because we've just had these come back into stock and they're a really high quality backpack. They're great for if you're fishing off the beach or if any land based fishing really because they're made out of this um, very high quality canvas material. So it's a very durable backpack. Now they're not the cheapest backpack on the market but they're a backpack that's going to last you for a long time especially if you look after it and if you're fishing off the beach well you definitely want something that's going to last so available in three sizes so this is a small they do a medium size and they also do an extra large size so this thing here this is a big boy if you look at the size of it this is this is a serious backpack for anybody that's packing a lot of fishing gear, you're doing hikes up the beach, long hikes up the beach and you want to carry a lot of stuff. The good thing about these bags as well is they have straps on the side so you can actually um, strap your rods on, on the side if you're bringing multiple rods up the beach. You could even strap in your rod tubes on the side of the backpack. But the one thing with these bags is all the zippers 
they've got oversized zippers so this is not you're not going to have a failure with this backpack these zips they're not like some of the other backpacks that we've well, uh, well that I've seen in the past like the zips the zippers on them are a little bit flimsy you get a bit of sand in them they start to deteriorate but these they're all oversized zippers we've, we've never had an issue with one of these backpacks and I think yeah if you if you want a really good quality tackle storage system um, for off the beach or any land based stuff then these backpacks are definitely worth checking out so there's absolutely tons of storage in this pack you've got a top top storage for whatever you want to put in there whether it's tackle trays or rig bags and then you've got another little storage section at the bottom and the bottom one's really good for putting trays in so you could fill the bottom up with tackle trays the plastic tackle trays and then you could yeah you could put your rig bags or you can use that for carrying your reels or whatever you wanted or your accessories but check them out the assassin tackle packs we've got them all in stock at both stores Come and check them out if you're after a new backpack that you, and you want something that's really good quality, then you need to check these out. Okay, so moving on from the bags and the tackle trays, I just want to show you these little uh, Miho run and gun system tackle boxes. I think they're quite a handy little box and if you're fishing off the beach, or if, uh, well the beach would be fine, or if you're even fishing in the river, I think these are pretty handy. Now I've already set one up, so I'll give you a quick look here, but these are the run and gun um, system boxes. Now this is the 7070 size, they also do come in a slightly smaller size but the cool thing about this is it's got its own little table built into the box so if you can see this is the one that I haven't set up but it's got its handle you can open the box and you've got a top tray so you can put whatever you want to put in there you've also got the main compartment and you can partition these because they come with dividers you can set them up however you want to set them up okay but the cool thing about it is this is actually a workbench so on the top of these they have these little latches so if you open the latches boom you've got yourself a little workbench or a little table I reckon it's pretty nifty they're a good quality box as with all the Miho stuff, they're made in Japan, so the quality of the box and the, the, the overall finish of the product is, 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 it is a very good quality box. But it's a nifty, handy little thing if you're fishing in the river and you need a little bench for rigging up your gear or even cutting your bait, don't know about cutting your bait on the inside of your tackle box, but you know, if you had to use it as a little bench, it's, it's quite handy. Um, well, they also do have attachments on the side, so Miho, I'm just... I'm going to show you quickly, so just while i got that there, Miho do these little rod holder attachments. So this actually just clips in on the side of the tackle box here, and you can have a little rod stand on the side. So another handy little box, you know, if you're doing any light tackle fishing, check them out. They store your gear well, they're nice and sturdy. We've got them in stock, so come and check them out. get so much bloody new stuff in every week and we constantly have orders coming in I'm trying to show you guys what what I think you guys are going to want to see but we just got in another batch of the angler teasers and they've come out really good this batch so I'm going to give you a quick look at these if you haven't seen these already um, we get these done up locally and these are by far the best mirror teaser I've ever used or I've seen on the market and the, the Thing that makes these so good besides the quality of the finish is just how heavy they are they're actually really they're quite a weighty item so what thing that I've noticed when using these is they actually they go a lot deeper and they have a, it gives the, the teaser a better action so this actually gets down below the prop wash because it is so heavy and it really spins and turns and makes a real bloody ruckus because it's quite quite loud but it also puts off a lot of a lot of um, flash and attracts fish from a bloody long way away but we've got a whole heap of different colors for you to choose from so yeah whether you want the chartreuse or the lime green there's hot pink there's hot orange we've just had another batch of them come in so they don't last very long because they are pretty reasonably priced at $2.99 um, they also come with a tackle bag so 
guys, if you want, we, we've got them in stock now. If you want to get your hands on one, they're at both stores, so um, they do come in batches. So sometimes you can't get one color. At the moment, we've got them all in stock when this video drops. But come and check them out. Angler mirror teasers available now. Okay, so moving on from the teasers, I wanted to quickly show you just the range of new skirted lures that we've we've started to sell. Um, we have dabbled in these this brand before, but we're kind of just expanding it a little bit more at our Osmond Park store. We've got a bit more room here. Um, we can display the product a bit better. So what it is, is Richter Lures. Now, if you're not familiar with Richter Lures, they are a local company, but it's South African made product. So all the skirts or skirted lures um, they're available from small little jelly babes like this which are absolutely epic when you use these out at the fads they work really well um, all the way up to well this is a big soft Oscar that I'm showing you here they actually make lures bigger than this but we're not dabbling in them just yet they're all pre-rigged so everything that we sell from this brand it's pre-rigged all you have to do is get your snap swivel and clip the end of the lure on put it out the back and start catching fish on them but they're available in soft headed lures. We've got the high polished Wahoo catches like this uh, Silver Tornado. These are all pre-rigged with wire, these ones. But they work really well whether you're locally trolling them for tuna. You'll even catch Yellowtail Kings around Rottnest on these things. But we've got a whole range, a whole heap of different colors here. I wasn't originally going to put a big range of game fishing gear in. We actually dabbled in it at our other Beckingham store and that was never really popular. But at this store, you, know, you guys and our customers seem to be asking us more for game lures. So if you'd like to see anything in particular, drop a line in the comments, let us know. I'll see if I can get it in. Um, super keen to keep expanding our range and, and give you guys the products that you wanna buy. So moving on from the game fishing lures, I wanna show you quickly these power twist snaps from Harbour. Now, I use these a lot for all of my lure fishing. If I'm, I'm, I'm casting stick baits, if I'm casting vibes, um, these, I, I generally always have one of these tied on. And the best thing I like about these is just how quick and easy it is to change your lure. It's, instead of having to cut and retie your, your mono leader, you tie one of these on and the best thing about them is you don't have to open or close the clip. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at how they work. So like I was saying, these clips are so good because you don't have to open or close the clip. Now that's the biggest advantage with these um, and why I like them so much. So all you do is you roll on and roll off. It's that simple. There's no opening or closing. It's just roll your lure on, roll your lure off. They're extremely strong and the good thing about them as well is they actually pull straight. So some of the other clips, they are kind of like on an angle, but with these, they pull straight and they're, they're just bloody handy. So if you do a lot of lure fishing, then definitely give these a shot. They're called the Harbour Power Twist Snap. I'm going to link these in the videos. We always have them in stock. It's something cheap. It's something that um, I just find for lure fishing, make, if, especially if you change lures often, they make it really easy. So the Harbour Power Twist Snap. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. But I just wanted to say a big thanks to everybody who's been tuning into all of our videos, whether you're watching the product videos or you're watching my, my fishing and my, my fishing trip videos. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for coming into the store and supporting us. It's, we've had a really, it's been great. Like, um, it, yeah, it, it, we've had a really big amount of support and I really appreciate it. And if I don't see you in the store, I'll see you out in the water. But See you next time, guys.